My name is Steve Isaacs. Uh, I teach video game design and development. I teach, you know, here at William Adam Middle School, which is in an affluent suburb in New Jersey. The kids come pretty prepared for learning, and, and they're just in a good situation all around. Games are very motivating. There's no question that kids are playing games and love games. So my thought was I'd like to see kids developing their own games for one. And also I was teaching programming classes and I can't see a better way to get kids excited about programming than by programming and developing their own games. This is the, that's the right one, right? Or no? No? All of these are wrong? I think if my kids had their way, I would just say, okay, create this kind of game and they would just start. I impose the importance of the design process first, which involves creating a design document and a storyline and all that. When I teach them the basic mechanics, once they understand the basics, then they get many ideas of what they want to accomplish. The GameStar Mechanics site itself has a lot of resources for teachers, including curriculum and things. So there have been some activities I've taken from their curriculum, as well as the fact that they guide students through the process of learning GameStar Mechanics. Okay, when you're evaluating somebody's game, if level one is easy, that's fine. Let's say level two, three, four, five are all way too easy and you beat the game the first time you try it. That could be a problem that you want to jot down. Trust the person playing your game. Most of my class time is spent me um, helping kids as they need help, helping them come up with ideas you know, for how they would solve a problem. We get to a point where the kids you know, can create first just a very simple sample game on their own. My game is uh, a, the player will have to go through three levels, so it's based on a triathlon theory. For my partner, I was told that like my level two, which where the player is under the ocean, is harder than my level three. So I had to change that and I'm adding more storylines so that the player fully knows what she has to undertake. I want to teach the, the basics, but my goal is always for my students to know more than I do by the end. You know, I want to teach them how to, you know, how to learn. You know, my style is, is very much, I want to facilitate the process. I'll, I'll teach what needs to be taught to get them started, but I like to get that spark going and then, you know, then support it and let it go in many different directions. And, this is one area where that absolutely, you know, can happen.